Now, whether you love them or hate them, I think we can all agree we still want the ladies to look good. Some of us want to show them off. Some of us want to cover them up. Or maybe you want them to look bigger. Maybe you want them to look smaller, whatever shape and size your breasts are. Janice is here to help us dress our breasts. I mean our best <laughs> with some chest-centric fashion tips. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> so let's talk about this uh, overall. Boobs, they're a thing when you're dressing. Yes, and we shouldn't... We should embrace them and love them, but I appreciate that they change and they've moved sizes. And so it's all about just understanding with my clients, getting them to understand the shape and then how to work it. And if you kind of create like this guidelines or a checklist, then you can apply it just like a dress or a jacket and your top sort of thing. Yes, and uh, you're seeing your clients at different stages in their life. Maybe they just had kids. Maybe things have drastically changed. And a lot of it has to do with when you wake up in the morning, how you're feeling that day. Some days you want to, for me, it's like in studio, you're not gonna see my cleavage. Out in the streets, yes, you will. T, <laughs> you're really good about showing cleavage and you love your cleavage and your breasts, right? Well, there's so many other parts of my body I don't love, right? <laughs> so, I, my philosophy is focus on what you love. I can play it up. Yes. I like these. Yes. So I'm going to play them up when I'm, whenever I go out, which is rare, yeah. but when I go out, I will play them up. I will wear something tight, something that hoists them up, put them together, yeah. put them on display and a nice shelf for everybody to look at. <laughs> <laughs> and they are lovely to look Thank at. Thank you. Okay, so I, I love uh, when we can talk about color and pattern and figure out what's going to work for different body types. And that's what we're going to do right now. We've got a model coming out named Paula. Come on out and talk to me a little bit about what you were working with when it came to Paula. Well, Paula is lovely, slender, but she really wants more bust. She wanted more of a fuller yes. bust line. So short of surgery, the thing is you can do it all with clothing. Mm -hmm. So what you're looking for, it's all, we're just going to draw the attention up. We're going to create volume. So whether you do that with ruffles or whether you do that with just some detail or texture, because we have the pleats right here sitting at the top of the bust mm -hmm. line, then they pleat out. Yes. And so we create more volume there. And again, we're gonna bring the top in so she's not swimming in her top. Mm -hmm. We're tucking it in and it's really light, but we get that extra you know, lift there. Yeah. And lovely full shoulder totally does the trick. We wanna draw your attention up. And that's how we create a balance. And just to make things super on trend, uh, we've got this fabulous red jacket. So this cool pairing. It's very but nice. The same thing as adding volume is we've got the buttons there. If you have flaps on your jacket up there, or your blouse, those are the same tips that are going to add more weight. We're layering out. Mm -hmm. And so obviously that's what is going to happen. So those are your tips that you need. You're giving her some nice volume at the top and the eyes drawn, uh, drawn up there. Paola, how do you feel? I love it. I didn't think that by covering up, I would look fuller. Right. So See, that's a good yeah. tip there. Thank you so much for that. You look Thank fantastic. You. Oh, I love the red trench. So let's talk a little bit about uh, what Haim was looking for for her look. Oh, gorgeous. Come on well, in. first off, Haim loves her body. She has a very... Yeah, she's super comfortable with it, which yeah. we want to. I couldn't to, tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hands on hips, show that yeah. shape. Beautiful. So her concern is making sure her pieces can accommodate both her bust and her hips, but yeah. also her waist. Like she doesn't need mm -hmm. to swim just because we need to fit those sizes. Yes. Right? So it's always about drawing it in and drawing your eye to the waist. So a belt's always going to be a fantastic yes. addition. The V-neck totally works. And with the ruching detail here, mm -hmm. it's got the space to accommodate different sizes of brass. So that's right. why that V wrap dress is always going to work. Um, and also it draws the eye in, which is great. Yes. And again, when we lengthen it out and draw the eye down, it just lengthens out the body. So we're bringing it in and down. And those are what we're looking for. Yeah. Haim, you need to please tell me you love this. <laughs> of course you look I stunning. do. Like, Thank is it you. doing, is it giving what you wanted it, it to does. give? It does. I love the cinched waist mm. because it just really flatters and it also accentuates what I want to accentuate. Yes. yes. You need sure. to walk off here and straight out those doors. <laughs> That is your outfit for every day, Monday to Friday. Like, it's stunning on you. Hey, I'm beautiful. Gonna do that. You're gonna do that. Good girl. <laughs> you look great. Fantastic. That is a very good look on her. Okay, next we have Corey. So, talk to me a little bit about the Corey's concerns and what she wanted to, what she wanted you to work with. Well, Corey has a substantial bust. Yes. And she just wanted tips and help. 
Yeah, because it is, she is not full figure. She is mm -hmm. not a big woman. Mm -hmm. She just happens to have a big butt. Mm -hmm. So it's all just trying to find things to accommodate the size without overwhelming her, her body. Yeah. She's also not very tall. So we had to find a lot. And I'm going to tell you, there is not a lot out there. Okay, so this so, was more of a challenge. This is definitely a challenge. Yeah. There was, we were just going for, she didn't want to be out and about yeah. with her chest. So yeah. she wants it. She's a busy mom. She wants to have them tucked in and controlled so yes. this neckline works well and then you use your necklace to create the eye yes. but we don't it has to be a particular placement if it drapes over your bust line mm -hmm. it's going to draw more attention there mm, and I so too. we have it sitting up at the top so to bring your eye in mm -hmm. but also the print works really well because if you have a print you don't see the depth of things yep straight on so you're not seeing any sort of, you Shelf. know, it's not, yes, that accentuating it. The dress is a nice light fabric, so it really moves freely. And it, one tip about this blazer is if you are petite and you have long sleeves on, it cuts your body in half. Okay. But if you raise those sleeves up to three quarters, all of a sudden you've shifted the perception of the, your body, the proportion, and the upper is now one third and the bottom is two thirds, and it will lengthen out her legs. Ooh, that I is know. a good tip. Corey, you look fantastic. I love the fact that we get to see your legs. <laughs> and this is lovely because, as Jana said, you are petite. And it's just hard when all of the weight is concentrated in one area. It could be your hips, could be your bust, wherever it is. How are you feeling? Oh, I feel great. And I'm amazed that she found a higher neckline that also wasn't so tight that my breasts look bigger. Yeah. It's very concealed, and I love that. Yes, because that's what you're looking for. But you don't want to give up any of the rest of your shape in order to cover up your breasts. So this is the perfect solution. Corey, so good. Janice, really good. Great style tips, as always. You look fantastic, especially the hat.